you might wonder what this video is about. Well, it's about this right here. And you go, well, what's that? Service manual. That service manual is for that. Engine service manual, anyway. So, yep, that's right. Going to start building a school bus conversion. So I've started already to pull out the floors out. Um, right now, I'm just welding up all the little holes in the floor um, using these little knockouts out of electrical uh, boxes. Neighbor gave me a whole pile of them. So, and then the little holes I can just weld up. Not too bad. Just using a little flux core welder. I don't. My Lincoln has a bottle hook to it, so I have this little easy weld I keep on my service truck for real quick little jobs, fixing handrails or broken brackets. So... It works all right. I'd say it's a it's an okay welder for the price. It's not bad. Well, I think I paid one sixty nine or one seventy nine for it on Amazon. But anyway, they're all right. So yeah, this should be interesting. Um, it's got a DT three sixty or DTA has an aftercooler, which I call a turbo filter. In case the turbo shells out, at least the aftercooler will catch quite a bit of the debris anyway. So. With an Allison, it's got the uh, undesirable 545, but oh well, eh, it'll work. It runs really good, um, and it holds back better than my uh, my service truck. You might be able to see, well, kind of can see it, the one with the blue logos on it and stuff. That's got a Cummins 5.9 in it, so displacement-wise, it's the same as this, um, and... For one thing, this this 12 valve uh, international engine will run circles around that 24 valve five or yeah six speed that's in that truck. I got a hill I have to come up every day when I come home. I can barely get up that hill at 45 miles an hour in the service truck. Um, it's heavier, obviously, but and it but it's also rated in more horse. And it is a dog. This thing will come flying. I can accelerate up that hill with this. And, uh, I mean, we'll see what how that all changes. I weighed this empty. Well, once I pulled the seats out, I took it to the to our landfill and weighed it. They have a brand new scale out there, so it's freshly calibrated. My guess was between 12 and 15,000. It was 13.8. So, that gives me a baseline. We'll see what it weighs when it's all done. So, since it's winter... And February really sucked here in Wyoming, as probably a lot of parts of the country, the northern parts anyway. We were very cold. But anyway, haven't been able to do much on the bus. So what do you do when you have a project that you can't do anything with? Well, the only thing you can do is buy stuff for it. So I've been buying solar, um, the charge controller, and I have 400, four 100-watt 100 panels that will go on it. It will have four 6-volt batteries, um, golf cart batteries. 3,000 watt continuous uh, pure sine wave inverter, um, all the pecs and all the water pump and the tanks and just doing that, I mean, what, what can you do? And you, The only way you can participate in your project is just to buy stuff for it. <laughs> so, but now the weather's kind of breaking. It's uh, all the day the time changed. What is it? That's uh, March 10th and we're in the 30s now, so yay, we're coming out of it. But. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you the new project. Catch you later.